In this RHC technical video segment, we'll demonstrate the proper technique for installing Envire rubber sheet and tile. Envire is ideal for use in high traffic areas that require natural resilience, exceptional wear resistance, and professional stability. Measure the room for size and squareness and determine the best layout for seams, taking into consideration walking paths and doorways. Envire sheets come in 74 inch widths to allow for a one inch trim on both sides, leaving a full six foot piece after trimming. All factory edges will need to be trimmed. Use a straight edge and utility knife or an edge trimmer to remove the factory edging. Make sure the floor is free of all debris and dust. Broom sweeping is not acceptable in this instance because it leaves dust and particles. Use a vacuum to ensure that the floor is ready for flooring adhesive and installation. Cut the first piece of flooring to fit your space and lay it out according to the predetermined floor plan. Be sure to notch around door jams and other protrusions, leaving a little extra material that will be cut to fit later. If possible, it's recommended to undercut all door jams and trims and slip material under for a clean look. Trim in the first piece to fit comfortably at the wall. Do not let material ride up walls as this could bind the material when folding back for gluing. Be sure the base will be able to cover the gap. In this instance, we're using a 3 8 inch base. If you're using a narrower base that may require a tighter fit, scribe or pattern scribe the material in place. When cutting a second piece, make sure all the arrows located on the underside of Envire are going in the same direction. Line up the second piece, making sure there's enough overlap for trimming or scribing seams, and then trim materials to walls. In this video, we'll demonstrate two methods for preparing the seams for heat welding. First is the double cut method, and second will be the scribing the seams method, but both methods should be cut dry. For the double cut method, all you need is a sharp blade and a straight edge. Never try to cut through the flooring in one pass. Always use multiple passes. Make sure you have enough material so the straight edge is level. If there's not enough material, the straight edge can teeter or rock and you won't get a true straight cut. When you go through the top layer, continue to keep your blade straight up and down. As you pull the top piece out, you can finish the final cut. Double cutting is a good way to get a nice tight seam. Double cutting is also a great way to cut if there will be no heat welding. When you overlap one piece onto the other and take that piece out, it will actually slightly compress the seam for a good fit. The second method is scribing the seams. As mentioned before, all factory edges must be trimmed, so trim the primary or bottom edge. Once the second sheet is in place, make sure you have approximately one inch of overlap. The hinge or recess scriber can be set up for either a tight seam or, if using an automatic groover, a slightly gapped seam. A small gap helps the guide wheel when using an electric groover. Place the scribe between the sheets and proceed to scribe the bottom edge. Once the top sheet is marked, using a sharp blade, cut away excess material and set the two sheets together. Once the seams are cut and ready to go, fold back the Envire and apply adhesive. Use a few identification marks to make sure the flooring is lined up properly when put back in place. Be sure the material does not move when folding back. Today we're using Excelsior SP500 Acrylic Aerosol Adhesive. Spray the adhesive onto the clean flooring, making sure to use the proper amount of adhesive and spray patterns. Product details are located inside the label wrapper. Block off the wall as you spray and don't point or direct the can. Just let the product fall onto the flooring like snow. Before folding the Envire back over the adhesive, make sure the back is clean and free of any debris. Use a broom to clean off the floor backing. Fold the Envire back into the adhesive, paying attention to the alignment marks to be sure the material has not moved. Use a floor roller as a final step to make sure the product is firmly secure. Remember to roll the product in both directions with a three section 100 pound roller. After the adhesive has had time to dry, your Envire rubber sheet and tile flooring will be ready for heat welding.